<laughs> All right, guys. Hopefully this thing is on. Doing a little, uh, little bit of trail riding. I got a couple things to do. Um, but I got to check out this road. Get up behind my place. Um, I guess it washed out pretty bad, so I don't think. Uh, just from what I'm seeing right now, I'm gonna see anything, but I uh, just rebuilt the front end of this yesterday. CV boots, tie rod ends, uh, stuff like that. Maybe I'll show you all that in a little bit, but I'll throw you guys on the helmet, or the uh, the head cam, and we'll do a little ride. I don't know uh, how far we can get. I brought the saw just in case, but we'll uh, strap you guys on, take a little ride. pretty deep up here. apparently <laughs> gonna have some work to do up here now there looks like a maple and uh, maybe a white pine behind it I like get some logs out of that guy pretty nice looking tree Runway. Right here as well. Huh.
another nice runway. Make sure that GoPro is still on good, looks good. I don't know. Fit through here, this is all washing out again. on the belt you can already see it I think we actually cut this guy in one of the videos might have been uh, trail down below too though Out on fire, the sound of it. <laughs> huh. If I'm not mistaken, everything looks so different in the winter time. I think that brings us up to the, uh, the old lookout. But it gets pretty mealy in there, too. So. some snow up here still let this thing cool down a touch oh I gotta get petrol too Didn't really think about that should have known if I can't make it up here back in uh, back of my place what the heck would make me think I could do it now I guess we're getting here but huh Just a little bit rough on the bike still. These big old 32s.
Definitely got to bring the pole saw up here. I don't know how far this goes. This looks like an end right here. Or it turns into four-wheeler trail, but... Get out of here without tearing anything up with a school bus. Which may not be as easy as I'm thinking. Oh, we got her. Couple burps. There we go. We got her. Expected a little bit, uh, a little bit better trail riding for y'all. Trying to get something up. Maybe to uh, tomorrow. It's supposed to be 55 degrees today. We got a beautiful 45. They don't look deep in the old trail, but these things are cutting in pretty good. And this is the type of snow, if anybody knows the uh, Polaris downfall, especially with the machine I have right now, the, it's got a reverse chain on it. So you get into this type of snow where it's really packy and deep, and you gotta give it a burp or something like that, you can, you can break your reverse chain on them. And I'm really not looking forward to doing a transmission job on it if it is, bro. So. I'm going to try to not get uh, into too much of a predicament here, but I wanted to do a different kind of video here. Hopefully you guys can see everything pretty decent. Uh, this is my first time in the side-by-side -side with a helmet cam, so hopefully you guys get a little first-person first perspective. And uh, we're going to... My brother-in-law actually just ordered one of these. He ordered the, uh, what do you call it? Da, 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 da. This is the Flaris Ranger High Lifter Edition. So, I know we're gonna have some good rides this year. Um, and let me know, uh, let me know what you guys think of the, uh, the content like this. If you guys like it, I know kind of hard to hear anything with all the limbs I'm taking off right now because this thing is a monster in the woods and I actually just measured it for him because he's got to uh, he's trying to make sure his trailer is gonna fit his when it comes in because he had a special order it and from my measurement from my um, the bed the bed of mine to the front of my tires was 13 foot 4 inches, 13 foot 6 inches, something like that. And his, his I believe comes with uh, 30s. So these are 32s, so 
I gave him, I gave him a little bit more of a measurement just in case. But I definitely, I brought the, uh, I brought the Sony along. I planned on um, getting some shots like down at the bottom, seeing this thing come down to just give you a little bit of an idea on the actual grade of this hill. But uh, with the way the ice is underneath the snow, I'm not, uh, I'm not really all that interested to get out and set all that up and then run back up this hill because yeah I'll do it on another day when the uh, the snow is a little bit a little bit better out here but I'm just glad I have a capable enough machine to get up here I mean even with the uh, conditions and what they are there we go Uh, I don't know what the heck they're called on this thing lower ball joints basically on this guy yesterday so I got to do upper ball joints next weekend hopefully I ordered two sets of the lowers because I thought the uh, lower and uppers were the same uh, but the upper on these I got the uh, SATA 6 lift in this so the uppers are actually they screw into the uh, the A arm, or I think the stock ones were press in, but nonetheless, I got to order some of them from Super ATV. And uh, yeah, that's poker. Oh. like that back here all my uh, my family's all connects to my my property in the back so I'm trying to make a trail up from my backyard up get onto this trail system or at least one of them we got a pile of them they got tree stands and everything else up here so but I want to take another look at that uh, that white pine there one of these days and I probably ought to cut this son of a gun down this thing has been a problem <laughs> I busted the top off last year or the year before the four-wheelers can go underneath it just fine but this monster if this thing can get there almost a Jeep can as well I mean it's it's about as wide as a Jeep so as I get down to the land and I'll do another walk around in case you didn't see the uh, last couple videos that I had made on this all that scotch pine very much for white yeah that might be a nice one right there no well, she gets awful crappy up above Popple and popple and maple and
Yeah, so, I don't know, after you get to the bottom, probably 8, 10 inches. But uh, we did lower ball joint on this side, ball joint on this side. Took the arms off last night. Uh, we got to do an alignment still on it. It's pulling a little bit, which no big deal. I'll get that figured out next weekend. Um, CV boot, inner on this guy and inner in the rear. And then I also did uh, new boots on the... Um, the rack pinion that boot right there the one that comes from the uh, super ATV lift didn't last me uh, I don't know eight months or so um, yeah basically just my first ride since I rode it home yesterday it felt pretty good but uh, like I said plan on doing quite a bit of riding with this this year so got the uh, 365 with me Gotta get a strap to keep him in. These are the 32, uh, 32 by 10 or 12 um, Moto Boss wheels, something like that. Six inch, like I said, saddle lift. It's got the uh, Dragon Fire racing doors, and yeah. Make sure that feels all right because I didn't like what I heard up there, but seems all right. But you can see just from the angle, them CVs they they actually do pretty good. Both the uh, boots that rip were from sticks that we repaired yesterday. I also put the roof on, obviously, but I've got uh, reverse camera from when I'm plowing, the windshield wiper kit. Um, and these little guys, these are ox beams, love them, reverse camera, that's all up for if y'all want it or not, I liked it, and Polaris uh, heated steering wheel as well, it's my little yacht, but I use it quite a bit, so, for everything, <laughs> but, I'll turn you guys off here. Hopefully you guys liked it. Everything right now that I film outdoors wise is gonna be, you know, sketchy. I'm gonna try doing some more stuff tomorrow. Um, being 55, but can't really guarantee anything at this moment for quality, assure it, that type of thing. Cause it's just, it's one of them odd times of the year. But the snow's snow's pearls pretty pretty deep still and uh, you know being 45 degrees it's not doing nothing about packing right now so if we got a good freeze you should be able to go anywhere I've been but either way I'm gonna head her down the road so I'll shut her off thank you all and hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see some more of this or uh, well yeah thanks God bless